Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, contour maps. All right. Contour maps is uh, basically a collection of uh, cross-sectional curves by a bunch of planes uh, parallel to the XY plane. All right. So uh, let's look at this example, number 31. All right. So function is f of x comma y is equal to x squared plus x squared over 4. All right. So uh, let's try to uh, look at the intersection with the plane, say z equals 1. All right, so uh, here. So first one, let's try z equals 1. All right, so the plane looks like this. So it's going to be uh, one notch above the xy plane. So it's going to look like this. Okay, let's see if you can visualize this. All right, so this is the plane um, z equals 1, right? Then you can see that uh, once you um, cut this uh, object by this uh, plane z equals 1, you will have an uh, uh, intersection, so it's going to probably look somewhat like this, right? So it looks uh, circular or uh, elliptic uh, curve. Let's see what kind of curve this is. All right, since uh, z equals 1, all you really have to do is uh, plug 1 into z. z is actually this function. So you would place um, you know, f of uh, x comma y with 1. All right, so you get this equation. So I'm going to just say uh, x squared plus y squared over 4 equals 1, All right? And notice that the, this is just a, a equation of an ellipse, right? So this is an ellipse. All right? And if you try another curve, um, for example, uh, you can try something like uh, z equals uh, 2, or uh, maybe let's try z equals 4, All right? So z equals 4, All right? So that would be a, a plane uh, parallel to the uh, other one, but it's going to be at the z equals 4. So it's going to be a little bit higher up here. So it's going to look somewhat like that, All right? And if you cut it by this uh, z equals 4, you see that the, you will still have this uh, kind of a circular, uh, you know, intersection, but it's going to be a, a slightly bigger than the one before, right? So the equation is, again, we do the same thing. Uh, replace uh, f of x comma y by 4. So you get uh, x squared plus uh, y squared over 4 equals 4, right? And if you divide through by 4, you see that the x squared over 4, uh, I'm going to write it as 2 squared, which is the same thing as 4. And then you have a y squared over 4 squared is equal to 1. Again, this is, a, this is an equation of an ellipse. So this is an ellipse. So a contour ma map of this, uh, uh, this surface is going to be a collection of ellipse, right? So let's look at uh, these guys. So these are the contour maps, and we want to match up with this, uh, this function here, All right? So this is kind of close, but you can see that the, this is actually circular, right? But here, this is a bunch of ellipses, right? This is, looks like a bunch of parabolas. This is a bunch of hyperbolas. So you can see that the contour map for number 31 is going to be part, uh, part B. So this is the guy right here, All right? So you can see that there's uh, there are a bunch of um, you know uh, ellipses uh, put together, All right? So uh, that's how you choose the right contour map. So all you really have to do is take a, take an object or surface and uh, slice it through by a bunch of planes parallel to the x y plane and see what kind of image you get you can get. 
All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.